What's going on guys, Baseball said 294 here. Now today I'm going to be doing a very quick video response to one of my viewers. Uh, his name is Lance Robinson and he actually asked if I could go more into detail on how I set up my Condor MOPC. So I do have a video review up of this play carrier, but in that video I did not talk about the pouches or anything I have webbed into the Molly system. I just wanted to briefly talk about um, the play carrier itself as a whole. So. Um, but again, he asked if I could talk more about the pouches simply because he either has it um, or he's purchasing the same play carrier or something similar and he wanted some ideas. So um, one disclaimer I have for you guys is uh, I am actually going to hopefully get this done very quickly because in about two hours I'm going to be going to an airsoft game. So um, by the time I'm recording this, I don't have time to adjust the lighting so you can probably see the shadow right now moving at the bottom of the screen. And also, um, a lot of these pouches I have on my JPC, which I'll be running at this game today. So um, not all of the pouches are webbed properly into the Molly system, but they are there just to show where I would typically run them at on the play carrier. So Jumping right into it, starting from the front, you can see coming down from the shoulder straps, I do have my one point bungee sling. I always run it through my shoulder straps on this play carrier simply because it's a little bit bulkier the way I set it up and therefore I don't want it running across my shoulder underneath my arm. Um, so this just kind of helps to mainstream it a little bit and plus the padding that actually comes with the MOPC was surprisingly nice. Um, they're definitely a lot more heavy duty than other play carriers I've per personally owned, ran with, and seen other people use. So therefore I can help distribute some of that weight from my gun um, onto my shoulders without having too much neck strain or shoulder strain. Um, also moving to the left, you can also see I have my U94 push to talk wiring going through the left shoulder strap as well as a hydration um, tube running through there. So I simply run that underneath my admin pouch as you can see. Um, and also talking about the admin pouch, I simply have that here. It's all of the pouches on this are Condor. Um, I only have one real steel pouch and it's actually my um, canteen pouch, the green one right back here. But for the purpose of this, I mean, the Condor products have worked great for me. They're cheaper, um, which I don't feel like spending a whole lot of money on airsoft stuff, at least pouches um, wise. So, and also the coloring matches perfectly. So I don't have any off colored pouches. So, um, but again, my admin pouch is Condor. It's, it's a smaller one. It's not a full size, but it does Velcro down. And as you saw, it does have um, some internal pockets to help keep IDs, maps, things of that nature. Um, and I have my Airsoft Megasword patch. It's the first patch I ever bought a couple years ago for Airsoft. So I like to run that on here. I like the coloring everything. So um, as I mentioned, moving to the left, I have my U94 push to talk system with the wiring running um, underneath it into the shoulder straps. And then obviously on the back, and I'll show you guys what I have all this stuff housed in um, when I get to the back of the play carrier. But it's been a nice push to talk system. It's pretty mainstream, um, easy to use. It's a lot nicer, I think, than the simple um, one where it's just a circular button. I can't think of the name of that right now, but it's worked out well for me, and I typically have it running to my Comtac 2 systems. Um, and as I mentioned in my last video, we are looking at getting a little bit of lower profile in the ear communication systems, but I'll update you guys that on that topic when we get there. So moving down, I do have um, some single stacker M4 mag pouches with actual uh, pistol mag pouches on the front. I only have two extra mags for my KWA um, ATP right now, so that's why I don't run um, any magazines in these pouches. Plus it kind of gets a little bit bulky, so if I had a choice, I would have purchased this um, more as a shingle and kind of get rid of these uh, pistol mag pouches, but I run with what I have, you know, I purchased it so I might as well use it, but it's simply got the bungee systems to restrain your magazines. You don't have to use them if you don't want to, but um, since the pouches themselves are actually not um, tethered or they're not bungeeing, uh, so there's no tension keeping your magazines in, I like to keep them on top there, but they're easy to, you know, just pull to the side and you can rip your magazine out. So I'm going to turn the play carrier over slightly. Hopefully this is still in frame. Um, let me move it back a little bit for you guys. So Lance Robinson, hopefully this is helping you out a little bit. Moving to the right side of the play carrier, as you probably saw, it, I always have my carabiner with electrical tape now. Um, again, I cannot recommend that enough for larger games. You'd be really surprised how many times you actually need to use this or somebody on your team needs to use it. So it's a good idea to run with it. I have a single stacker um, or a single magazine pouch and actually you can hold two M4 mags so I can double that up if I want to, but it gets a little bit cumbersome. Um, I also have my IFAC, which typically you're supposed to run it on your left side. Um, that would be then your personal 
uh, medical equipment, and then uh, you can run utility patches, things like that on the right, but for airsoft, it doesn't really matter. Um, so I don't believe this is Condor, this is something different, and it's more of a, uh, a dark earth color, so you can probably see a little color difference in the video, but I like it. It's got, obviously, the Velcro system, and then I have um, or the zipper systems, and then I have actually a, a mini first aid kit in here with some gauze, um, some medical wrap, things like that in there just for accidental purposes. Moving to the back of this, um, I have a Condor hydration carrier. Hopefully this is kind of easier to see. I have dummy plates in this thing, so the front stays up really, really well, but the rear of the plate carrier doesn't. Let's see if I can actually tip it to make it easier to see. Okay, I apologize again for this. I'm trying to rush through this so that um, I don't put this video off for too long because I know it's been a while since you asked me to show you this. But looking at the rear, starting from the top, I again have the PAL system um, or like where I can have extra magazines for my squad mates or other team players. So it's obviously mounted upside down so they can get it out easier and simply rip it down and then you know take their magazine if they need it. Um, and this actual hydration carrier, if you can see, is about two inches longer than what I'd like it to be. So instead of um, cutting it and stitching it back up like a lot of people do with the map packs, um, I simply just folded it and then routed the Molly system through the front of it here so it helps keep it down. So therefore it's a little bit smaller um, and I can still hold my hydration bladder in there with full water and it doesn't kink up or anything like that. Um, also, I run my... Uh, aside from the hydration bladder being inside of here, I also have the wire going from my um, U94 push to talk into here to where my walkie talkie would be. So um, it doesn't bounce around or anything like that and it keeps it pretty mainstream. And that's pretty much all I have on the back. Moving to the left side of the plate carrier. Um, yep, it's in frame. So this is the uh, canteen pouch I was talking about. A lot of times they're listed as utility pouches, you can use it for that. Um, but they originally were designed to hold a, uh, those old canteens. So this is, again, the only real steel pouch that I have. And I kind of liked the olive drab color. I'm not sure why, but I picked it up for a good deal locally here at a surplus store. And I thought it'd be kind of cool to have a little contrast just because a lot of soldiers that I've seen don't have all the same color plate, um, either plate carriers or pouches on their plate carrier system. So it's kind of nice to have a little contrast. Um, so moving over, I have a double um, M4 mag pouch system. So these again, just like the ones on the right that I had, you can actually stack two M4 mags in here, uh, but it's they're stitched together so it's a double system. But I only run again with just one magazine in there, but if it's going to be a larger, larger game, I can certainly put two in, but again, it gets kind of cumbersome and it's harder to get those magazines out. So overall, that is... How I set this thing up. Um, keep in mind, it's a little bit bulkier and it's a little bit heavier if you do run fully set up like that. So hopefully if you do, it's going to be for a larger game. I mean, you can carry, it's designed to be able to carry a significant amount of magazines. Um, so you can have six mags if, for you. You can have two on the back and if you want to double up, you can have nine because again, these can hold these two here. Excuse me, and that one here can hold two magazines each. Plus one of the gun, of course. So. Um, you can also, you know, minimize it, take off some of the pouches. You can remove the cummerbund, like I mentioned. So, hopefully, this answers your questions, Mr. Robinson. <laughs> um, and I hope I didn't rush through this too much. Again, I just don't have a whole lot of time, but I felt really bad for how long it took me to get this video out for you. So. I'm going to be hopefully posting some more content. My work schedule and school is starting to slow down a little bit. The term ends in just a couple weeks for me, so I'll hopefully have more time to put up some more content for you guys. Um, but as always, you know, be, feel free to check out my videos. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know. I love to hear back from you guys, and I love going more into detail and helping you guys out. So thank you so much for watching. Again, Lance Robinson, I really appreciate your comment, and hopefully this helps you out. And you guys stay tuned for the next video.